Like Peter Parker's kind of a dork. Like even when he saves people's lives, you're like, this guy's still kind of. He kind says of. something like a zinger. Yeah, after yeah, yeah. He's, he's like, he's like, like yeah. I'm like, bro, you were just so cool. You, you saved really? like, you saved literally in the the most important city in the on the East Coast. You and saved then like, and then he's like, then you did a slice. <laughs> <laughs> I saw what he was going for, and it wasn't executed well enough. You skin, chil- you skin children in this basement, don't you? <laughs> well, that's a great way to start it. That's a great way to start it. We found it. Thank you, Dylan. Uh, yeah, you're welcome. That's why they pay you the big bucks. They do. Welcome they do. to the podcast, episode 144. Guys, we've been at hey. this for a number of weeks. Quite literally, uh, I can't say hundreds yet. I guess we'd have to break 200 for hey, hundred Around there. Hey, we had hundred of episodes. A hundred, at least a hundred, hundred of episodes. episodes. Hundred. Before we get into this hundred four four episode, uh, you know, just like in the YouTube stuff. Do we do if, you do we? If you guys like variety comedy, you can go ahead and subscribe to the Team Joystick YouTube channel for a variety of comedy. Yeah. And uh, if you guys like uh, this video, you can like the video. Yeah. And word. if you uh, don't. Leave. Yeah, <laughs> so you Fucking can do that the too. Screen. You're Shut not your re- computer off and throw it out the window. We'd appreciate growth, but uh, we're not gonna hold you hostage. You <laughs> can just go fucking watch uh, whoever you who else they're gonna watch. Uh, they can watch. Uh, they can watch that. You know, Teletubbies, bro. Fucking, um, who's big on YouTube who's now? Big on YouTube. Fucking What's the angry video game nerd. Uh, yeah, that guy's he's, all over YouTube. He's, yeah, he's super Mr. popular. Mr. East. Yeah, yeah. man, Mr. we went to go see his movie. That's another. That's that's another thing, though. Yeah. Fucking, uh, we got lots of stuff to talk about. We got lots of important stuff, lots of unimportant stuff, lots of sub-important stuff. I mean, we, the, uh, regardless whatever we're talking about, it's on some level of importance. So uh, I want to start with something I think is really important. Okay. And that is our boy Dylan achieving a great achievement. Yeah. Now, it wasn't a platinum trophy. No, no it wasn't. It wasn't a speed run. Or I guess maybe it was a speed run of college. Correct, no. yeah. I mean, it's not really a speed run. It took you a little bit, but... Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's the fastest speed run. It you took, fucking it did it, homie. Yeah. How does it feel? Uh, What do I do now? I guess I I just... That's... Mm. Let's do, be do you like have that. an idea? Like... What? Like, what's next for Dylan? Oh, I mean, like, uh, this summer... Like, I would say last year, I... What was it? No, two summers ago... I had like my hot boy summer, you know, yeah, yeah. like I was like, believe I was, me, we got to see it. Yeah, it was, I, I, it was... I, I, I was single. I was like, hey, what do I do with my life? I tried being an extrovert and then I realized I don't like being an extrovert. I think it was just like COVID was like, hey, you weren't outside for a year yeah, right. or whatever. And I was like, oh, I actually don't like people at all. I cracked it. We're extroverted introverts. That's, yeah. that's what we are. Mm, for Is sure. that the time where you invited us all to that bar that one time? That was for your birthday. Yeah, that was my. That was. Oh that, yeah. Yeah, that we was were celebrating something. That was there. before the podcast. Yeah, that was that was actually in the middle no. of winter. Mm-hmm. That was in the middle of winter. That was pre COVID. So, yeah. That was pre COVID. No. It was yeah. like forty degrees out. That's why we like were all at the bar stacked together. It was like it was December twenty nineteen. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was a very cold day. Mm-hmm. Was it? I mm-hmm. know that because for whatever reason, there's like three pictures on the joystick instagram that are pre-podcast and everything think, post yeah. that is like professional everything and then those three are just okay, yeah, pics of the right. five of us and that's <laughs> i love the, i love the blurry photos of us yeah, from yeah. Former years. you know <laughs> get ready I, i'm like legit gonna work on a little fucking pseudo joystick doc for the 10 year anniversary so so stay tuned for that mm, nice but fucking nice. uh what, what's up with you homie like uh, yeah what, so, like now, i said that hot boy summer hot boy over. summer uh last year was just like a normal ass summer so now i feel like it's nah, just... last summer was like video essay summer yeah <laughs> yeah it was it was those are some long was. nights <laughs> but now video now this is more of just like uh i guess uh adult shit yeah yeah uh graduating i feel like is the last non-adult thing i guess most like most people at my graduation first off and that's why i never went to college yeah it was never be an adult yeah but like a lot of people at my graduation were like my at least like older than me because yeah. uh, baruch has a lot of like master students mm-hmm. and stuff like that especially people that are getting like their mba like most of the students were business students or mba yeah. students but uh yeah, I think my uh, if you're thinking about like what my dream future is, 
uh, I'm going to apply for a job in podcasting and I could buy this podcast in want, some way. You want to buy this podcast? I will. I will. Or like I'll like I'll, I'll, I'll have like a company that like will oversee it or something. It's funny that Dylan says this because yes. I also have a dream to make this a fucking company with my own <laughs> podcast you and dick. have it be successful. Yeah, how about yeah. that? Fuck it. Or I think it'd be even funnier that I get a job in like podcast marketing. But at the marketing. very least, I appreciate that you look out for us. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah, definitely. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. make us some nice. We're we're all we're all going point. up. It's just I have the four hundred one k and benefit, yeah, yeah, yeah. health insurance. That's the plan. Whoever yeah, makes yeah. it first brings up the others, <laughs> not into their level, but slightly. That's yeah. that's the plan. Exactly, exactly. Unless it's Jose, then he probably moves to Mexico he or something. Probably crazy. Colombia, maybe yeah. Spain. I don't Japan. know. Japan. He a picks lot of, a different one. Every yeah, fucking we month. have no idea. We gotta track him down. He's in my bed. <laughs> he is. <laughs> yeah, as we speak. He's upstairs. He, he helped fix the light. Thanks, Jose. Yeah. But as time goes on, uh, I think uh, I will eventually. I'm already filling out job applications and all that. So that's the future. I think I'll just chill for the next uh, few months. I got a couple of yep. vacations planned. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, do that now. Uh, and uh, I met the not didn't meet, but uh, my graduation, the uh, guy who did like the commencement was uh, the Chobani yogurt CEO. <laughs> so shout out! They to, got him. They got. They got him. They got him. <laughs> they got Derek yeah, Chobani. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds very close to another name that we shouldn't bring up. <laughs> Uh, uh, George Floyd, <laughs> <laughs> George Yo Play. <laughs> yeah, <I> got it. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, we love George Yo Play, bro. No, but uh, yeah, that graduation was fucking great. I was at the Barclays Center. Uh, it was, yeah, was great. Fire. Yeah, uh, the That's Nets cool. are not allowed to go on to the Barclays floor in mid to late May. They never will, but I will. <laughs> Is that a thing? Well, no, that's oh, when the, they lost? that's when the playoffs are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, they'll never they'll never make it there. Thank but you, I did, yeah. We made the we made the playoffs three seasons yeah. in a row. So yeah. fucking fucking We fucking entered we just don't make yeah. it far. So I, upon entering the Barclays Center, I had to go down five flights of steps down into the sub basement. And then we had the go- that's where we like we got all the photos taken and everything and then we went up a little bit and then it was just like this giant like it looked like kind of like just like giant tunnels from like a sci-fi movie mm-hmm. but it was just like a loading dock that gotcha. they that all the players use and stuff so like, i would have never that's what they want i think, think that whatever bus or anything directly enters the loading dock and then they just lower it because mm-hmm. they fit like th- that's how i got back up as i had to take the loading dock back up yo mad random well i sorry to cut you off you know yeah. like when we walk to the barclays from where we park to go to watch the games you know how there's like that train yard right across yeah. that goes down i wonder if that's somehow connected into the barclays because it keeps going you know yeah. like it might even like i don't want to go super there, conspiracy but there might be some sort of like there i think there is train like a, or yeah something i want to explore under the barclays. Mm-hmm. there that's is cool. like i remember as i was waiting to get back up to ground level i just take a turn where like no one is and i look and it's literally the full security detail for the basement just unguarded Mm -hmm. and i'm like yeah and it it wasn't like you could there was no like board or anything but it was like literally like a fucking like a giant milkshake you know and i'm like what fat security guy is not here right now that should Mm -hmm. be here and it's like all the cameras milkshake (laughs) right i I come out of the freight elevator holding the milk that guy's like hey it's like right but yeah uh, after after the uh a three hour long graduation which was way too long. Yeah. I got some considering fa- what our high school graduation was like forty five minutes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh, we had a you know some nice family style Italian. It was good. You know, I'm not gonna name the place because it's the family style Italian place. It might be that place. But yeah. What? Yeah. What? Is it called the family? Style? No, but there is there is one chain. It's one of, that one spot. There's one restaurant. It's like a chain of Italian restaurants. Uh, so I'm Olive saying Garden. No, oh. but it's, it's that one. It's Outback Steakhouse. <laughs> 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 Not even gonna do that combo. But yeah, um, fuck man. Congratulations, man. Yeah, Seriously, thank you. I'm really proud of you. Mm. Like uh, I don't know. Like Jose and I were talking about it. It's just like I don't know what the fuck it is. Me and Jose talk about you guys like you're our kids. <laughs> Like me and Jose, <laughs> we have like these deep conversations where we're like, oh, "Joey's come so far, man. Like, yeah. Dylan comes out of his shell. He dresses so nice now. <laughs> like fucking." But we are really fucking proud of you, man. It's really yeah. cool to see. Thank you, uh, thank you so much. Uh, I have to get used to like everyone. Like I've realized I'm still that type of person that like when po- people try to you know 
congratulate me or whatever. And I'm like, mm, you know, now it's I'm the no, solo stop. degenerate of joystick. It doesn't stop. feel good. Stop, I need some guys. like big accomplishment in my life that equals yeah. a graduation. I need to like murder somebody. Yeah, <laughs> join the army. <laughs> nah, that's work. Yeah, 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 that's, yeah, yeah. that's more work. It's those college. <laughs> Yeah. I don't want to write yeah. an essay. I don't want to write Send that you the feel search. <laughs> Pretty much. Do you, do you live on this bottom half of the United States? Because those are your two options. College or Iraq. Yeah. Or wherever they fight now. I don't know. Yeah. Where are they fighting now? Uh, they, Everywhere. The internet. <laughs> yeah. I, I, either you're overseas or you're here. Mm-hmm. Or you're on like an aircraft you're carrier. just like arguing with each other and saying you spelled your wrong <laughs> just like shit like that <laughs> what <laughs> that's war that's war that's now that's conflict these days you oh man you used the wrong your idiot man i i got something we could swing it on into yeah and there's a reason i use the word swing oh i heard you guys also did some adult stuff we uh, became <laughs> swingers <laughs> <laughs> bro i'm <laughs> Fucking Dylan's making fun of us for watching the no, Spider-Man movie. Yeah, it's like, hey, you guys saw a very good movie. How fucking dare you? <laughs> no, right, uh, before we get, actually get fucking... into the movie, it, like, it's been hard to mention stuff before we actually started the podcast. But yeah. I, since I was excited to watch the movie, I started replaying the Spider-Man PS4 game. Okay. So I beat that, and then I rewatched I the, 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 uh, the first Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse the night before me and Jerry went to go see it. And then we went to go see it. And you know how you do, like, that subconscious thing? It's not even, like, a subconscious thing. Like, you do it, like, especially if you're a Spider-Man fan or you drop a pencil and you're, like, you like you know, like, one day it's going to come out. I do that, like, a hundred times a day now. I have a fucking problem. Like, I did it, like, when I asked you to close the door, I was, like, like, I stopped myself <laughs> mid-motion. Like, you're pointing at things? No, I'm flipping at no, things thinking that they're going to fucking gonna, come to yeah. me. Like, I'm have, I have a bit of an issue at this point. <laughs> Like literally, I, Bob, fucking, Bobby's, I left my phone on Bobby's my desk. that Bobby's that little kid at the supermarket that does crossovers yeah, with his mom right now, real quick. I'm the adult who crossovers my mom every day, <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, 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 exactly. But bro, I'm like in bed, my phone's on my desk, and I'm like, "Fuck!" <laughs> like, like, I just want it to happen. I want to blow want. stuff up in yeah. my mind. That yo, know, Spider Man was a dope was hero. Really, really cool. I, he's always been like a favorite for, as mine as a kid, and still with kids this generation, it's yeah, for crazy. Sure. It doesn't hurt that we're like Queens natives too. It's kind of cool to have a. Do a you think it's that biased way. that we're more gravitated to that? Meanwhile, there's like a kid in like Kentucky that's like, yeah. Hulk. I don't think it's a bias, but I think it's like I think it's a big reason why people from New York in general relate to the character, right? Yeah. One thing I thought was cool about, you know, Miles and, and like, first of all, the thing that I'm confused about is I can never tell if Miles, canonically speaking in the comics, is from Brooklyn or from Harlem. Mm. But regardless, I like that in the Spider-Verse movies, he's from Brooklyn because it's like my Brooklyn. Like the movie opens up on Myrtle Avenue, Broadway, like yeah. right there. And I'm like, holy shit, the J-Line. And it's like, yeah. it's really cool to see. And I think it's especially cool having like the Peter Parker Spider-Man, who's also from like Queens. Forest Hills, Queens, which is like fucking a stone's throw there. Yep. So we the like same, I, they're literally the same street. So I maybe I'm the Spider Man is what I'm saying. One of us is Spider Man in this room. <laughs> There's the it's the, Bobby. <laughs> it has to be. She knows all the the camera shit. Can't wait to edit that one. <laughs> Can one. you ever be like flaccid? It's just like silly <laughs> string. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. <laughs> that would happen to me, man. The, it finally happens. It finally happens. <laughs> it's like, Bob, Bobby, Bobby, do your superpower. You're like embarrassed. Don't I wanna, have don't a wanna do tile it. dysfunction. <laughs> nah, but the movie was fucking fire, man. Like, okay, for, uh, one thing I wanted to bring up. I knew about this from when they announced it. You knew that this movie is part one of two parts, right? Yes, I knew. Nobody in our theater knew that. Tatiana went to go see it. Nobody in her theater knew that. Everyone was pissed. They were like, no! What? There's no way. And I'm like, they said this three years ago. You kind of have to say that or else people get pissed. No, yeah, like, but they happened. mentioned it. But the, the, you know what the problem was? They mentioned that to the fans that watched the trailer on like their own time. And those who just were like saw it on TV, heard it on TV. There's no part two, part one of two written on yeah, the poster. Say it. There's right. nothing in the title or in I the see. poster that references that it's a part one. Yeah. So a lot of people, and I think it the, the third one already has a name. I, I think it's like Beyond the Spider. Beyond the Spider Verse like comes out March twenty four. Yeah, of next year, right? Yeah, yeah. I figured because I knew that because this it's, movie. That's was not too a good. huge gap. I it's mean, no, not, it's like an end, it, Infinity War Endgame. They're oh. working on them at the exact same time. Oh, okay, that's fucking fine though. Yeah, yeah they like Infinity War and Endgame were filmed back to back in like a sixty day span. 
And what's even crazier about that is Ant Man and the Wasp was like somewhere in the middle. So they did like three movies. Like it's possible, That's especially with, if it's animated. I mean, not that animation is easy. Like I saw your post that Spider Punk took like two years, right? That's, Apparently, and that yeah. was awesome. That's to get a, that animation style down. Also, just like the different flavors of like art styles and animations. Like to say this one was cooler than the first one is kind of a, like it's crazy because the first one already has such cool stuff with like the cartoony Spider Ham and the Spider Man War of Black and White and even like Penny Parker, who's like uh, the anime style. But like, even when you go to like Gwen's world, it's like all watercolor. It's like it's completely different from what Miles' worlds looks like. You know what I mean? They actually went that extra distance to make every single Spider-Man feel completely different in their own universe. I really enjoyed that. I thought like the first one is a, such a game changer in the animation world mm -hmm. that like more animated movies are starting to have that Spider-Verse effect. Puss yeah. in Boots, which did amazingly well, had that effect. Mm -hmm. And the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles that's coming out in yeah, August. Yeah, it looks really cool. Also has that effect. So mm -hmm. this, this movie started something. It yeah, definitely I mean, began... Anim animation was stuck in a place where it was all just fucking CGI, 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 CGI. It was CGI, all copy like, Disney, CGI, exactly. copy yeah, Pixar. Everything was you know? what had the cartoony face. And I hate to say it, but like, you know, Pixar, the reason why people talk about it is because they take that style, but they write great stories behind it. Whereas other it works. production companies like DreamWorks Illumination, they make good movies, but they, for the most part, they take those concepts and then they just kind of make like a funny movie for families, which does well. There's nothing wrong yeah. with that, but that's why those movies aren't looked as highly as like the pixar like give it an oscar yeah. and all that shit but yeah spider verse is awesome and real quick spoiler alert because i'm pretty sure now we're gonna go into some stuff that, <laughs> that, gets, that gets spoiled i was gonna ask you what was your favorite easter egg in the movie because it's chock full of them i think my favorite easter egg might be your favorite easter I, egg. I feel like we're on the same page here it, it was the childish gambino reveal no it wasn't damn okay, okay. but that was awesome too that was dope the fucking uh, Donald Glover as the Prowler. Because yeah. that's, that's the cool. MCU Prowler. Yeah, that's, that's him. Sick. I kind of thought it as a way of like maybe he's... I mean, they, uh, this woman actually, the woman... I forgot her name, her full name, Amy something here. She's actually the... Real quick, this is kind of a cool fun fact. If you go to the MCU on Wikipedia, it lists out all the people who serve as like executive producers for all the films. Mm -hmm. So Kevin Feige is the sole producer for the MCU... But there's a couple more thrown in there for the projects that are made with side companies. Hmm. So all of the Sony movies, which are the Spider-Man movies, their executive producer is this woman, Amy something. Again, that's her name. Uh, and she already came out and she said that both a Miles movie and a Spider-Woman movie are in the works live action. So they're coming. They're, she said it's just a matter of time. My theory is, are they, are, are, at the least, is Miles going to be part of the MCU, or is this going to be one of those, like, Craven the Hunter, more yeah, like a side, side thing? Like, I don't mind if the Spider-Woman thing is on the side thing, but Miles is something that's already been hinted to in the MCU and would fit incredibly would fit. well with what they're trying to do in the future, so. Just a matter of what Sony wants, I feel, at that at that point. Yeah, but I also just wanted to throw a fun fact in, too. Uh, also credited as an executive director for the MCU is Ryan Reynolds, because the Deadpool movies are made through a sister production company, so he actually gets credit for that, too, which is kind of sick. It's wild. But uh, regardless, my favorite Easter egg was actually the Spider-Man PS4. Oh, Spider uh, that, that one was, was so cute cool. too. They actually put Spider-Man from the video game in the movie. Oh, nice. And, uh, and not they, only as a character in like well that is in the universe, yeah. Yeah. but uh, Miles Morales is roommate is, is playing, playing the game, Spider is oh, the game nice. on his tv it's like straight gameplay it's footage. like so it's even meta because it's like that spider-man in the game is, is a, a real, real spider-man Spider you know what i mean yeah. it's fucking crazy but i thought that was really fucking dope um i had an oh it's it's less of an easter egg it was one of the earliest jokes in the movie and jerry could tell you i was crying laughing when Miles is going through, like, here's what I've been up to, and he's like, I guess hosted Jeopardy. That shit fucking killed oh me. Oh my god, it just that's pans right up out your alley. To a full Jeopardy set, and it's Miles in a suit and the fucking mask. It's I, like, I, oh my god, I, I thought like it was. I chuckled, but knowing you, if I was in the theater oh, with Bobby, you, yeah. I would have been crying with you. He had you. to make like two apology videos. He's like, I'm, I'm deeply sorry, sorry. I was on Jeopardy. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was on Jeopardy. Yeah. Sorry, I endorsed baby powder, but it's just, it's fucking hilarious, man. And then of course, like we were talking before the podcast, like the actual realistic portrayal of like Hispanic parents and, and you know, like that was fucking dope. Cause right. I mean, you, obviously like Miles is black and Hispanic, but I feel like the culture of his Latina or Latinx presence is more 
heavily pushed towards uh well, his last name is morales yeah like well that's more of like a funny thing in the comics he picks morales because if he uses his dad's last name he introduces himself as miles davis uh, and then everybody's like like the jazz guy so he got tired of it and he starts calling him miles morales because his I dad see. is jefferson davis which is also another oh, famous that's person. Fucking but long story short dude. Uh, in the comics, like even the dad, like he he, it, it almost feels like uh, Jeff is kind of like the outsider in the family because Miles talks a lot of Spanish with his mom, and his mom talks a lot of Spanish back. But it's really realistic. It's like super fucking realistic Word. to the point where it's kind of scary. We were talking about there's a scene in the movie where it's, it's one of the first scenes where Miles is, uh, he in typical Spider-Man fashion, he's supposed to be with his parents for like a guidance counselor meeting to talk about his future going to, going to a college, mm-hmm. but he gets caught up fighting a, a supervillain or whatever. But while he's on his way there, his parents are having a discussion with the guidance counselor and she's making up a fake narrative to help push him to get him into the college. Yeah, like a scholarship essay. Yeah. Yeah. So he's like uh, the son of struggling immigrants. And then his mom is like, I'm from Puerto Rico and that's part of America. And then the dad is like, we own a floor in Brooklyn, so I wouldn't really say struggling. And then the woman is like, do you want him to go to college or not? And they're both like, no, do what you got to do. And like, you could say whatever you want about that, but being a hispanic person that's 100 percent true yeah. like that is yeah 100 percent real we are not like but that's lying no no we, it's like no take it, take it. <laughs> yeah word yeah. You i mean with, even yeah. even me person who has the last name of diaz yeah you, you, you got you, offer that you, maybe you, you should but dylan you're you're, you're 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 hispanic like let's be real yeah, uh, yeah. You, you, we, we adopted you yeah Thank you. at the very least you're new yorican you know you're like me and joey yeah you're like you're like j-lo yeah. D die. <laughs> That's not good. D no. die. Yeah, it would just be yeah, it would just be double D when Speaking yeah, back to <laughs> that we were both on the same page there. Um, yeah, yeah, they're big. Double D's are big. You gotta, yeah, like, yeah. You gotta make them oh, big. Sorry. I'm old, yeah. Gotcha. Oh, yeah, okay. I see what you did there. Nicole sent me a video at Miles Morales. <laughs> double D's? No, oh, okay. fucking <laughs> she's it was Miles Morales' mom's <laughs> with double D's. <laughs> When she snaps to get Miles' attention, yeah. it's the Puerto Rican flag real quick. It oh, really? mad fast. That's but she, cool. she showed me, they, someone slowed it down. She was like, oh, yeah. And then it did like the Puerto Rican yeah, yeah. flag and the snap. And I was like, oh, shit. Even like how she talks to him is like really realistic for her Hispanic mother. Very loving, but I'll beat the shit out of you if you cross mm-hmm. that line. Like that line is very, very thinly tiptoed. Mm-hmm. But I just really love the authenticity of the movie. The voice acting... I want to credit it, but if I'm being real, it was already phenomenal in the first movie. They just brought it over to the second one. Great film, great, great fucking movie. I, I think my only negative is that I don't, I don't have the second one to watch right now. That's ex- that's ex- I have Letterbox and I wrote exact sentence. I was like, the only negative thing about this is that I, at the time of writing this, I need to wait. Yeah, like that's the thing that makes this fucking. Sick. I actually do have another negative about the movie, but fun, funny thing, it's not actually about the movie per se. It's the experience I had watching the movie. I forgot to actually tell Jerry I wanted to get his opinion on it, and I was hoping he'd be here. But I low key feel that whoever was pro- uh, projecting the movie didn't up the volume because we watched it really, really low. Cinemart's Cinemart? Mm-hmm. Cinemart's always been like that. No. Nah. Trust me, I go to a lot of these movies. It was like noticeably low. Like if you were at home on your TV, you would have raised the volume. Like that's that's how difference. I felt at No Way Home, to be honest. So it it was weird for me, but I like, I it obviously didn't ruin the movie for me. But like I best the best way to describe it is you know how the beginning of the movie is really heavy on Gwen's prologue and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. That was all really faint. Not to the point where we couldn't hear it, but like if somebody made a noise, I couldn't hear that word that was just said. And I was like, wow. Yeah, it was that bad. I was Did it like, get fixed at all? No, it's still that way for the whole movie. You got adjusted to it. It's a movie, so thankfully nobody was really talking, but it was that low to the point where like, I want to see it again. But and also, I mean, you went to a Dolby fucking theater, which is like they specialize in, pro- in high production sound. Yeah. But. I don't know. I feel like the movies are just that place where it's supposed to be loud. So when no, it's yeah, quiet, exactly. it's even it, extra quiet. It, it was, it, I'd argue it wasn't even that I was upset about it it was so much so that it made me aware of it and i was like whoa this is weird this is doesn't happen. I don't like listen yeah. yeah and when i was aware of it that's when i was like this is strange you know but great movie doesn't halt you if anything i have to go watch it again i'm gonna watch it again with my parents i think tomorrow per- perhaps i actually still want to go see guardians again i haven't seen that i saw guardians time. too many times how many, these? how many times did you fucking see i think almost three wow fucking spider-man great when- movie I wanted to say one last thing about Spider-Man, but my I work at a preschool and my students love Miles Morales. 
So much to the point that all they say is Miles Morales, not even Spider-Man. They're just like, Miles Morales. Yeah, like Miles Morales. And if you're not in the loop of the Spider-Man context, like you're going to be like, Miles Morales? Is that like a, a sports player or something? <laughs> like like everyone's like, I'm going to be like is Miles that, Morales. Is that the wacky photographer who takes pictures of Spider-Man? <laughs> Miles Morales. No, but I'm, I'm, th- I'm starting to think that this generation of kids growing up are like, you know, yeah, we don't need Peter Parker. Is they don't the, even know Peter Parker that much. Is that the man who works at Spider-Man's taqueria? <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, he is Spider-Man. To be honest, though, I mean, like, P- like Peter, like, to be real, that was, like, my one pro. Like, as someone who, like, really liked the, the original Spider-Man trilogy as a child, and I, I think, like, these movies, even though they're animated, they're, like, they paint Spider-Man in such a cooler picture. Like, Peter Parker's kind of a dork. Like, even when he saves people's lives, you're like, this guy's still kind of... He says something like a zinger yeah, after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's like, he's like, like yeah. I'm like, bro, you were just so cool. You <laughs> saved, like, you saved literally in the the most important city in the on the East Coast. You and saved. Then like, and then he's like, then you did. I'm going to slice. I'm going to go to the bodega. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But now it's like he's cool and he's like actually from New York, Time you know? Fuck Mary Jane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. And I'm hyped for the game, so. Ooh. Yeah, the shout Spider-Man is Shout out awesome. to Spider-Man. Thanks for representing New York. And shout out to Batman for representing New Jersey. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I keep, see it. Keep America. Close. Uh, what was the other thing? I had you a- know what other movie was good? I saw Little Mermaid. Oh, that was another thing. Man. I wanted Little Mermaid was a pretty good live action remake in 2023, mm-hmm. and uh, the best thing about that movie is the singing, the songs. Like I heard one reviewer say, I kind of like that we're hiring actual singers because I can't deal with any more auto tuned actors. And not to say that they were auto tuned. I didn't do the research into that. But he made a point that this woman, like Haley, Haley Bailey, I keep saying her name wrong. That's Haley Bailey. Okay, awesome. She delivers. No, She's yeah. amazing. I was going to say, I, I haven't seen the movie, but every review that I've read or, or seen so far, they all say the exact same thing. They'll have like a negative here, a negative there, but no matter what, they're like the shining star is Holly Bailey. They're like, yes. she fucking knocks it out of the park. She does. I've she even does. seen multiple reviews say that she's better than the cartoon Ariel. To be honest, I low-key w- agree. Which, yeah. hot take, I don't think is very hard to do. She was a fucking mermaid from 1989. <laughs> yeah, let's be real. <laughs> Literally, every how much character a quarter of was the, a in quarter there. of the movie is just songs. So every she's not remake talking. should be that, and it almost like it almost puts into perspective like the whole like wow outrage. the era that was like mean to women and didn't give a shit about their yeah. values did a better job than what we have now. <laughs> Word. But uh, I, I definitely want to go see it. I, I have a thing mm. where I have to see all these Disney live actions to, to make my point, even though there's a couple I will not because I've seen clips and I'm like, nope. I'm Pinocchio, not, right? Nope. That's you not putting myself. No, 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 no. I'm not putting myself through that. It's painful. Yeah. But uh, but Ooh. definitely want to check out The Little Mermaid. I heard nothing but great things. I meant to ask you, how did the, how did the whole underwater thing look? Did they achieve that in a cool way? I saw it twice. I thought it was cool. Uh, the I feel like all the budget went into the infamous song number uh, "Under the Sea," because they were like, "How am I gonna make this look as cartoony and vibrant as the original without like drawing big eyes on yeah. fish and having them like dance bachata and stuff?" Um, and they, they used like they seaweed. They used like all these like sea urchin kind of like creatures that are very vibrant in colors. Uh, the one that looks like a rug that oh, like SpongeBob too. porn. Yeah, it and was a, that. And an enemy. Under the Sea was SpongeBob porn. Yeah, and that was the sports channel, Gary. But it was realistic. Like it was like they like the part like when there were stingrays that went swam through that went to the beat of the, the music. Oh, that's cool. Like it was almost like visually very beautiful, but it I think it might be more entertain entertaining for someone who's grown than a child who would be like more captivated with the cartoon fish dancing. So you mean to tell me that all of this is happening at the bottom of the ocean where there's no light? Where this is not visible? Huh? Huh? Is that what you mean to tell me? Zero out of ten. I wish Bobby not always looked like this. Not watching Bob- this movie. Not realistic. I'm good. 
Thank you. <laughs> Bobby, you know that whenever you're like the, the, you're like, you know, disagreeing on the podcast, you yeah. have to do this yeah. now. Yeah. I think not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually like this character a lot. <laughs> Bobby's arms are like so sore. He's like, I want to stop. He's the, oh, you guys man. are keeping me in. And I'm yeah. like, fuck. Uh, uh, let, let me go. Bobby starts what are you bleeding. Think? He's like, why are you bleeding? He's like, oh. <laughs> No, but Little Mermaid's dope. I I'd give it a watch. And if you're, I know if you're like, uh, Disney remakes. No, give this one a I watch. I heard good things. Give this one a watch. I have two more questions. Fuck everything else. You could speed through them. How is Melissa McCarthy as Ursula? At first, I was like, she's all right. And at the end, you're like, yeah, she did a really good she job. Nailed it. Yeah. Cool. Okay. She's Second good. question. I humbly think. Well, my personal favorite of all of the Disney uh, live action remakes is Beauty and the Beast. And I even think that after I watch this, Beauty and the Beast is still going to be my favorite. Do you mm-hmm. think this will change it? Do you think it's better than Beauty and the Beast with Emma Watson? I also like Beauty and the Beast, and that was my favorite before The Little Mermaid came out. Um, There might be a possibility. Mm-hmm. I, 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 I give it fine. like a 85, 90% chance that you will change to The Little Mermaid. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Fair, fair. I got to check this out now. Mm-hmm. Cool, Interesting. cool. I like it. I like nice. it. But yeah, it was dope. <laughs> nice. Can I uh, can I say one last thing? Of course, yeah. a, you can say two last yeah. things. Okay, I will. Uh, there's a uh, there's a lot of sports going on right now. There are. There's a lot of sports going on. A lot on. of uh, of important final moment sports going yeah. on around. And there's Is one hockey over. Or? <laughs> First game today, right now. Oh, okay. hockey. I thought it yeah. started before. The fun- okay, whatever. Uh, it, all the games went to game seven. It took oh, me gotcha, long. Gotcha, yeah, gotcha. but uh, the most important sport right now is the International World Cup of 3v3 half-court basketball, which is currently going on right now. I did not know there was a World Cup for so it, 3v3. That, that's just like pickup games, right? Like, it, it's uh, it's 3v3 pickup, but it's all like former. No, it, at, it's like, oh, at, yeah. Literally. So it's 3v, and it's you have a team of four, and it's all the countries in the world. Team of four for the, like one substitute? Yeah, that, and okay. then they can sub in at any point. Oh, that's fire. Mm-hmm. That's so cool. And I, I thought it was to 21, but I think it's timed. Oh. I think it's timed, and then there's like a – and then it's – It's got to be to 21. Man. Well, no. That's at so the fun. What 20. happens is that if it's like a one or two-point thing, you keep going. Okay. You know, you just – yeah. But, yeah, and then this uh, – it's like uh, there's like a bonus. So if you foul someone, you just get the ball back, and then just keep going. What the fuck are you laughing about? Nothing, I think I think he was I think he was mimicking me. <laughs> yeah, okay. I think he was mimicking me it's a funny little bit. He's doing that, and I'm looking for something I wanted to talk about on my phone, so I can't actually see yeah, the, the so, fucking visual I could, joke. And I couldn't either because only I was our audience saw that. <laughs> it was only for them. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I did not know that three v three basketball was so exciting, and uh, I think uh, Joystick has to hop on that. I don't know. I don't think we're gonna play three v three basketball. Mario but. did that. Listen, I had an idea where I was gonna go over to Dylan's house one day, not tell him, and just call him and be like, "Look outside. I'm gonna be in your parking lot in a hoodie, sh- athletic shorts, and a basketball, and you just gotta come down and hoop it out." <laughs> I'd be so down, bro. Yeah, yeah, I'd be so fucking down. Do some fucking Dylan, old people stretches. Dylan would be like, "Yeah." I have favorite sports basketball. I have it's not. Oh, yeah. I have I have a headband and everything. I'm so ready. But shout outs to uh shout outs to basketball. It's shout exciting. Outs, man. Uh, America's doing quite well. Uh and uh yeah. I hope they win. I'm I, I'm uh, I can't bet on it, but if Hopefully I could bet on it, money. Like Zach Efron. Yeah. Bet on it. Bet, bet on it. Bet on I have something I could I could I could yeah? bring up real quick. Uh, so I know that last episode I was talking about my newest TV binge situation with Superstore. Yeah. And uh, don't worry, this is not about Superstore. However, mm. I dipped my toe into another television show. I did not expect to tip, dip my toe into. Oh, okay. so on season two, I didn't watch season. Well, rather, I didn't watch season one. So when season two came out, I got interested in it. And now I'm watching it from the start. Mm. But I'm putting more attention to Superstore. And then when I get bored, I watch the other yeah. one. Have you heard of a show called The Righteous Gemstones. No, I have not. No, what is this? It is an HBO show. Okay. Let me let me give you the the premise for this show because I think you're actually going to really like it, right? It is a show. First of all, hear this cast, ready? John Goodman, Danny McBride, Adam Devine. I've seen I've seen a trailer for this, I think. And they're like a southern family. Yeah. So what the show's actually about is John Goodman is like the patriarch of the family. Okay. And he was like the biggest Joel Osteen in the world. So he's a televangelist who has oh, an so empire. 
Joel Sr. But he retires and he has to give the company and the business to one of his three children. And the whole joke is that they're like the most unholy family in the whole like world. Mm. It, everything is about extortion and all this stuff. So it's actually like a dark comedy mm. and it's really well done. Okay. So That's like cool. Danny McBride is like the main character. He's like the oldest of the three sons and he's the one who wants to take the business for himself. Oh yeah. He's like the one that but he, wants he it. He also is, is, he does all this grimy shady stuff at the same time. And then there's a, a sister. I don't know the actress who plays her, but her whole shtick is that she's secretly engaged to a, like this guy, like her boyfriend, and she's trying to get out of the family. Like she's okay. trying to leave. But my favorite character is Adam Devine, who plays the youngest of the three siblings, and he's just like a young hippie, like hipster oh, nice. type guy. But it's actually a really cool show, and I love the premise so much. I love those like dark comedies that tap into like shit that I already think about, like those fucking televangelists who make way too much money cleansing people's sins you know and offering prayers and but stuff their like family that. is worse no yeah exactly so i i just i found the show to be really interesting and it, it it's also interesting to me considering how much research i've done into the whole joel osteen shit that's yeah my mother's been looking into it too again you're right that yeah. shit is uh interesting guy makes so much money and he's not the only one does it does a ton of them. he's not but he's the one that like I feel like a lot of us knew you had you had came from a religious family. You knew who that man was. Yeah. You did not look at your TV once and was like, "Oh, Bro, who's we this were, guy just we were like I'm yelling. Catholic, well, and I don't even know why we had that shit." Yeah. On. Well, I mean, yeah. like at the end of the day, it's almost like they're all like, even if you're not like being a shady guy, you're still taking money from people that like they need it, and you don't. Yeah. Well, you're like a billionaire, and these I people don't have any watch money. All these like to see. Like if even you if you're not, it. even if your family isn't yeah. fucked up and you're doing illegal shit, it's like, oh, you're still stole everyone's money. Yeah. And just for talking. Just for talking, like, yeah. Just for talking. Talk. Because you can. <laughs> Why? Because. Welp. Well. Uh, we, can, we can swing it on in. I've been saying swing. <laughs> Bam. Can you can swing. you say can you say Bam. swang Bam. instead? Swang and like Drake. Mm-hmm. Swang. We're swanging it on to jam and yam of the week. We are. Fucking! Uh, I already know what my jam of the week is going. Do I know to be. mine? It's gonna be a. Can I? Can I go? Go, go for it. Can I say my go name? for it. My jam of the week is gonna go to Skeleton Town in all capital letters by the Dumb Boys Fishing Club. Oh, nice! Not the Ooh. Dumb Boys. 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 Yes. Boys. See what they did there? No. Uh, it's like a cool. I don't really know how to explain it. It's like half rap, half pop. Nice. Thing. I like and, uh, uh, I like those. It's got a nice little feature by our our, our man Merlin Wood who's on nice. it. He's got a very hype verse in typical Merlin fashion. It's too short, but you know, great song. It's fire. The drums on it are sick. So shout out to Skeleton Town. Let's very go. dope. My uh, yam of the week. I'm gonna pull it up because it has a really long name. I didn't forget the name. Uh, it's the world is ending and I can't stop crying over these frog boots by Veo. <laughs> Cool. Uh, it's an acoustic song. This guy's like a hyper pop in the vein of like break-ins. Uh, he does a lot of songs with like Rory 404. Oh, okay. uh, but I would say this song is definitely all acoustic mostly. And uh, the chorus is literally another song that's an early 2000s pop punk song. So listen to it and see if you can figure it out. You, you, I, think you, I think you figure it out. Yo, my slam honestly comes from the Little Mermaid remake. No joke. There's a song they added called "For the First Time," and I was That's like, one of the old ones. "For the first time." Forever. What movie is that from? Is that not from Little no, Mermaid? No, that's in, that's uh, Frozen. Oh, never mind. Yeah. That's not the song, then. Right? No, it, but I got confused about that too. Oh, I'm okay. like, isn't that the Frozen song? But um, it's an added song because I also looked up the Broadway version of Little Mermaid. They didn't have that song uh, either. So this is a, a brand new song. Brand yeah. spanking new. Yeah, there's a few. There's two, I think. And uh, this new one they added is great. It's like a, it feels like a Broadway musical. And maybe that's why I like it. Like, I'm like, this is like, it feels like it fits for a stage play. And um, yeah, it, it talks about like her entrance into the castle and without having a whole scene for it. And it was really good. It's a really good song. It's catchy. Do you know what uh, they're working on next for the live action adaptations? I heard Lilo and Stitch. Lilo and Stitch and Hercules. I'm a little scared about Hercules, though. So Hercules is rough. Waters. Hercules has a good director team behind it. It's actually the Russo brothers. The guys who oh, made wow. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. They're making Hercules. But the thing that scares me is they said that they're using influences from TikTok. 
to make the movie. I don't know what the fuck that means. What is that? <laughs> yeah. I don't know what that, that means. Doesn't, that doesn't even make I, any sense. They're going to hire TikTok actors, maybe. I don't. I think, I, I think the best way to take that is maybe they're doing like something with retention, you know, like maybe it's yeah. going to be really fast, fast paced, edited or something short, like that. Short, short scenes, maybe but every scene's like 30 seconds. Something like that, but I I heard that and I got very scared cuz Hercules is like my favorite animated Disney movie. Where so. it has oh. good music in it. Just just got some audition hire songs. Hire the women who play the muses. Just keep them in the fucking movie and it'll be a 9 out of 10. Don't worry about it. Or hire Ariana Grande. She killed that song as Meg. But regardless, thank you for watching like muse. the Joystick show. Fucking uh Oh, I was also gonna throw out. I just wanted to be like, "Fuck you guys." Me and Jerry are going to concerts now. <laughs> I mean, this is the concert side of the table now. Yeah, we got two in October, bitch. We haven't gone to a concert in Madison. Yeah, long. we have not. Joey, Joey's <laughs> not, just not like, that Joey's been bailing to me, but I, I've been I've been going to concerts and very uh, sparingly. Same. Yeah, I don't know. And like, when I do go, it's like there was one I saw like Belmont and Stick to Your Guns, but I only went to yeah. like half the show. And then yeah. there was another show that me and Joe, but it was like out in like deep Long Island. It's it, it hasn't really worked out. Yeah, same. Jerry, know, Jerry and I are going to uh, Terror Reed and Royal Blood back to back. Pretty pretty hype, right? Terror Reed, Terror Reed's hype. I mean, Royal Blood <laughs> is too, but like <laughs> Terror is uh, pretty low if you want to come. It's like twenty bucks something like that. Yeah, we through. all go in the we'll first joystick it. concert. A, we've had a joystick concert. My birthday, twenty first, went to see. Oh Lord yeah, Gucci. we did. That was good. Even Jose came to pick us up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a shining moment. He's like, nah, but I'll pick you guys up and hang out after. Like, I'm not listening to that. Mad random, not to go on a tangent. You know what? I'll never forget about that night. What? That, what? Because that was for my 21st birthday, but I turned 21 the day after. So I was like, it's technically 20. But when I went in and I showed the woman my ID, she didn't mark X. So she was like, have a good night. And I was like, thank you. She didn't even have to make a big deal about no, it. Yeah, like, she, happy no, birthday. She, no, she, she, like, she knew. She was like, you're going to have a good time. And I was like, thank you. I appreciate it. I was like, I, I was like my... That random twenty-five-year-old woman in Brooklyn was the person who made me realize I am an adult now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, this is the moment. You're like, yeah, that was the adult shit. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> and I didn't drink that night. Yeah, amazing. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching episode 144 yeah. of the Joystick Show. I've been Bobby. And that's been Dylan. Dylan. I have been Joey. He has been sometimes. I've been slowly sinking into the table. And I've I've been annoying. Uh, <laughs> fucking make sure to go ahead and like this episode or don't. I don't really fucking care. Uh, you could subscribe or don't. I don't fucking care. Uh, <laughs> could have come up with a different joke. I just <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't fucking care. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fucking, fucking, yeah. When in doubt, repeat what you said. It always works. But in actuality, like the show and and, yeah. and subscribe to the channel. Um, yeah. Stay tuned for big things coming. This is episode 144. We're six away from 150. I'm also realizing. Hold on, let me do the math real quick. Dylan is literally sinking. Keep at it, buddy. I'll keep talking. You guys, uh, you guys can have my curtains. Uh, Joey, you can keep my kid. Joey, you're allergic to cats, right? Kind of, but I'll uh, 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 I'll give it to Jerry. Jerry can go fuck oh. off and have my cat. You can show up. Well, my well, give me something. Can you get the fuck up? Give me something. I have Don't more to die. talk about. This isn't the end of the episode. Um, Unless you want to commit to the bit. Go ahead. Uh, I've committed already. Right. My One, back two, is three, stuck four, to the five, chair. Six, seven, eight, nine. I was going to say we have nine episodes till. The joystick show's three-year anniversary, <laughs> which is kind of crazy. Think about it, we've almost been doing this for three straight years. Yeah. But regardless, get ready for new big things coming not only to the channel, but new big things coming I didn't to die, the guys. podcast. I'm talking new set. I'm talking guests. I'm talking seggy waggies. I'm talking in a boost in quality. I'm talking about uploads to Spotify. <gasps> I'm talking audio platforms. I'm talking not just the joystick show, but I'm talking secondary, maybe even primary video content. Treachery. Maybe a certain cooking show people are fans about that we're bringing back on a bi-weekly scale in a way brand new TV ready format. You know, maybe some video game stuff thrown in there. Maybe, maybe. some one off stuff thrown maybe. in there. But if you like any of that, maybe. subscribe to the channel. And if you don't, we'll look for you. See you later. I hurt my back. Can you do it again? And then I'll, I'll pretend like I'm ending. I'm not actually, I just wanted Dylan to hurt himself again. <laughs> oh, I'll be here. That was the fuck, most fucked up thing I think I've seen you done. You graduated. <laughs>
I've gone from the no, top. No, I just want to see yourself. <laughs> <laughs>